What's going on everyone, Brian here from Native Instruments. In this tutorial, I'll be going over how to find and load your instruments and effects by Native Instruments inside of Studio One. I have a blank Studio One project open and I want to load my first instrument. Let's load one of the Play Series instruments, Cloud Supply. I'll select Instruments on the right and then Native Instruments. Don't worry if you don't see everything you installed from Native Access in this list. Some of the instruments you installed like Cloud Supply are contact instruments. Contact is a sampler and is used to run many NI instruments. If you haven't yet, make sure you install Contact from Native Access as you won't be able to load some of the instruments without it. I'll drag Contact onto the timeline. As you can see in Contact's browser, these are all of the Contact libraries I've installed from Native Access. The list on the right is currently showing me all of the presets across all of my contact instruments. You can either filter by type of sound, character, brand, or select an individual library in the browser below. Let's select Cloud Supply. Now the presets list on the right is only showing presets specifically for Cloud Supply. When clicking on any of these, we hear a preview of what it sounds like. Just double click and now the sound is loaded. If you want a different sound or instrument, click the library button at the top, select a new instrument or preset and double click to load. For a more detailed overview of contact, check out the how to use everything in contact video, which is linked below. Let's load up Massive X. I'll find Massive X on the right and drag it below my Cloud Supply track. Now that it's loaded, we can hear some sound. If you want to change the preset, click the preset name at the top and you can select from a wide range of sound categories and then select another preset. Depending on what you've purchased, there are Massive X expansions which are additional packs of presets specifically for Massive X. Those you can find by clicking here and selecting the expansion you'd like. Also, check out the how to use everything in Massive X to learn the ins and outs of this synth. Now let's get some drums in here. We'll find battery on the right and drag it below Massive X. The browser on the left is where all of your battery kits are located. Double click on any of the kit names to load a drum kit into battery. The last thing I want to add to my instruments are some effects and one of my personal favorite reverbs to use is ROM. Let's go back to the Cloud Supply track. Select effects in the browser, Native Instruments, and drag ROM on top of the track. Even the default ROM settings sound great. From here, you can tweak the knobs to customize how the effect sounds, or you can choose from a wide range of ROM presets. Click the preset name at the top, Factory Presets, select a reverb category like Creative, and select one of the presets. After creating some music using your instruments and effects, you may want to master your track to get it sounding as loud and clean as possible. That's where Ozone comes in. If you don't see your mix console, go to View at the top and enable Console. Back in the effects area, I'll go to Isotope and then drag Ozone onto the master track. Select from a wide range of mastering presets for different cases like depth and clarity in all-purpose mastering, or genre-specific chains. Or you can use Ozone's Master Assistant. Play back the loudest part of your track and Ozone will create a custom mastering chain specifically for your track. If you want to know more about Ozone and the mastering process, we also have a how to use everything in Ozone which is linked below.
Hopefully this gives you a better understanding of how to find your instruments and effects inside of Studio One. For a more detailed overview of each individual instrument and effect, make sure you check out our product walkthrough tutorials. Thanks for watching.